All right, guys, here's another watch that pleasantly surprised me when it showed up. This was a watch tour that Art on the IWA started. And I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm going to butcher it. It's uh, Skagen, Skagen, uh, Melby is the model. This is the SKW6305. It's a titanium case, and I like the case shape. I like the way the strap attaches. There are some other versions with different colorations and with a like a Melanese mesh bracelet that goes with it. So I'd be curious to check out that one as well. But I like this configuration so far. It is super light, super thin. In the in the quality and the construction and everything, it feels really good. And I know it's an inexpensive watch. This watch is under a hundred dollars. So it's 7.9 for the thickness, the, you're looking at like 40 millimeter. And then the lug to lug, which is kind of tricky on this guy, but you're looking at like 44.8-ish. And then I'll give you a lug width if I can, but it's, I don't know how you, I guess you could probably, if you had a thin, it's like, 25. I mean, if you had thin leather, I mean, you could probably make a strap or something to go in there. But this is genuine leather. The, the, the leather on it is actually pretty good quality. I think it's a really good fit for this watch. So I don't know much about this brand. You know, being that it's an inexpensive watch, I'm sure it's, you know, obviously more of a fashion watch. But I am definitely, if I don't um, get picked in the drawing at the end of the tour on this guy I'm definitely buying one of these because I seriously have a spot in my collection for this I just really like it so let me pop it on my seven and a quarter there's what I was wearing just so you know <clears throat> I really do like that SARJ SARG009 that's a great watch I've actually been wearing that more than the Hamilton even there it is on my seven and a quarter I, I like that the strap is kind of wide. It does taper, but it's still even at the taper. It's almost 22 millimeter. I think that helps it feel a little more masculine. But I, I really like the look. And it weighs basically nothing. I didn't bring my scale down here, but this really doesn't weigh hardly anything. So I wanted to give you guys a quick little look at this. I don't know how much demand there is for it, but if you guys are looking for an inexpensive, say you're in the, just in the mood to buy a watch, pick one of these up. I, this one has the blue accent, which I like, but I also notice they have like one with an orange, and you know I'm kind of a sucker for the orange, but I don't know this. The blue with the leather just, like I, I'm, I'm having a hard time shipping this one off to the next guy. I got to ship this off to the next guy Monday morning, but I really do like this, and I for sure am... I'm going to purchase one of these and own one of these. So I wanted to give you guys a quick look at it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It has the day-date complication, which is always great. Even the seconds hand, if you look, it, it pretty much hits those marks, which with some inexpensive quartz watches, that seems to be a challenge. But sometimes the cheaper ones line up better than the more expensive, like a Shinola. Nope. Everyone I've looked at in the boutique doesn't hit the marks. So you get like a Casio or a Citizen, they seem like they hit the mark just fine, and this one does it too. So this might have like a Japanese movement in it, I'm sure. I don't know if it says in the back. Titanium case, you know, it's only five, so what is that, 50 meters? So this is made in Denmark. I'm, I, don't know if the, I don't know if the whole thing is made in Denmark. That's actually pretty cool. Or if the company's just in Denmark. But if you guys know any more on this or the history of it or what the heck any of the name means or whatever let me know down in the comments look at that k-shape it's kind of almost like ufo looking i really i really do like it so there's a quick look at that guy